Hey y'all, here's another installment of my Thinking Outside the Box or Thinking Outside the Pumpkin series, which is kind of funny because in this episode, I am actually using a box. Lots of boxes, lots of shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree to make my little mini pumpkin patch, my front porch, turns into a pumpkin patch come September. So let me know what other things have you seen at the Dollar Tree that you think that I could make a pumpkin out of. Please subscribe if you like what you see here on my channel. And if you would like to be notified every time I upload a video, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and YouTube should notify you every time I upload something new. If you like it, definitely let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get into this DIY, thinking outside the box, which is really inside a lot of boxes. So from the Dollar Tree, I'm using four shadow boxes, the Jenga box or Towering Tumble, the Super Glue Wood Glue, and the Eileen's Tacky Glue. And I'm also using the Apple Barrel Paint in Nutmeg Brown. I just Googled orange wood and printed off some images to use as the background in my shadow boxes. Now you can really kind of just pop these out with your thumb. You can use a little screwdriver and take that hinge off, but these aren't really super sturdy and you really can just sort of push back with your thumb. And I'm just using this as an example. You'll see in a minute I'm going to use it as a template. Also these little 3D elements. They pop right out too. You can just pull them out and sometimes you're lucky and you get nice little heart shapes that you can use. Um, if it doesn't come out the first time, you can see here, you can try a little harder and you can pull everything out. So I don't think that you really need like a screwdriver or any kind of tool to pry it out. For what I'm doing, I am not going to worry about this little spot in the middle that's torn because I'm going to cover it with paper. I'm going to use this from another box and um, use it as a template to know what size I need to cut out on this orange wood paper. Now before I glue this in, Mod Podge it in or glue it in, I'm going to take a little bit of white acrylic paint and just paint around the edges. So um, I'm not even going to worry about painting in the center. Just so when I put the paper in, if it's not exactly even, because sometimes you know these boxes are not even, then that blue won't be shining through, um, poking through the black. It'll be white, which is the color of the edges. So, you know, so it'll just sort of blend in. So while those are drying, I am going to take my little Jenga blocks or my tumbling tower game, whatever that's called, and glue them together with this wood glue, this super glue wood glue. And this is going to end up being the stem. I'm actually going to take another set of two and glue those together um, so it'll be thicker. And I'm using this Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown paint with a makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree. And I just sort of rub it onto these Jenga blocks and it looks more like a stain than paint. So I just really like that effect that I get when I do this. So while everything's drying, I'm just going to stain, I say that with air quotes, stain these Jenga blocks um, to make my stem on the pumpkin later. So now that the paint is dry, I'm just going to apply my little squares that I cut out and I just kind of want to make sure that they're lined up so that it sort of gives the impression that it's like one piece of wood in the background of all four um, squares when I put this together. And on this first one, I used this Eileen's Tacky Glue and I didn't like it because it bubbled up. So the rest of them, I actually ended up using Mod Podge. So I'm just using this wood glue to glue these boxes together. So I'm going to glue two sets of two together first and then I'm going to do a little reinforcing before I glue each set of two together. Now y'all make sure to stay until the end because I made three pumpkins for my little pumpkin patch and they're all a little different and I think that you'll like them all. And you can see more photos of all of these pumpkins on my Instagram. I'm just reinforcing the back with popsicle sticks and I know that hot glue looks like a funny color. All I could get a hold of was my 
glitter hot glue and I figured oh well hot glue is hot glue it'll work but it does look really weird putting that putting it on these popsicle sticks but I'm just going to reinforce the heck out of this with popsicle sticks so now that I have the two popsicle sticks so I have the two sides reinforced I'm going to put a little bit of glue down the sides and glue the two sides together and then reinforce it even more with the popsicle sticks um, I think that I can't express enough how important the popsicle sticks are to reinforce the back um, our projects are always our DIYs and our projects are always so pretty as long as you're not looking at the back right so I'm just gluing these together I'm gonna tell you what I really like this super glue wood glue that I have picked up at the Dollar Tree it is really really strong um, and it's I think affordable for a dollar I suppose you could get the Elmer's wood glue or another brand of wood glue in a bigger bottle for a better price but for small projects like this I really like this small bottle so I am just really making sure to reinforce the backs of these shadow boxes and I should have taken all of the hinges I keep calling them hinges the hangers off um, before I did this but I didn't but it's fine because I can glue these popsicle sticks all around and you'll see I put them in every different direction you've seen this a million times on YouTube DIY videos but we've got to make sure that that everything is is sturdy especially when you see where I end up styling this pumpkin okay so this is it this is my pumpkin this is my giant pumpkin and now I want to put the stem on which is that's what I made out of the Jenga blocks and I'm going to glue the two sets of two together so that I have a kind of a, a fat stem and that glue just works really fast and then I'm just going to pop it on the top of my square on top of my shadow box and there's my pumpkin so of course I'm gonna to want to add some leaves and I decided to do a little something different and use these fall leaves instead of like a green pumpkin leaf I made a couple more pumpkins which I'll show you in just a sec I made a, a, a short one with just two shadow boxes and then I made a tall skinny one with the three shadow boxes now on this one I used some floral wire and just painted it with uh, some copper paint and this is one of those ornaments from the Dollar Tree that you paint yourself and I used a little bit of orange paint on a chip brush to just sort of paint this wood paper this wood look paper just to make it look like you know it had been sort of painted orange at one time and sort of you know I like that if you've seen some of my DIYs that you know I like that rustic look now this one I made a taller um, stem with the Jenga blocks and I just pulled this pumpkin off of a Dollar Tree pumpkin painted it with a little bit of green to give it that green look because it was really silver and I used the green floral wire and again with a chip brush just took some orange paint and brushed it on there just to make it look a, each section to look a little different like it was wasn't just printed on a printer now I added on the big pumpkin that I made the wired jute from the Dollar Tree just to make its little curly cue and this is what my pumpkin patch looks like out on my front porch thanks so much for watching y'all and please subscribe if you want to see more and until the next video I will see y'all later bye